Hello, it's Martin, and I want to talk what's in this big box. So, I'll probably start. One of the things when I was going to when I was building my computer was I need to get a processor. Now it's waiting for ages for the one I wanted. It's in here now. So let's unbox it. So there's a few other things in here, I think. No idea. So when I upgrade my computer, that's something about <sighs> when I upgraded it, I bought a very cheap processor. I mean very cheap. It was just there for for me to get me started, make sure it all works perfect. In here is a new one. So this was it. So this was a company called Scan. This is not a sponsor, of course. I bought it for my own money. And this is not a secret shopper, but we get to see the package material. So you can't see this, but it's box is sturdy. So I'll leave that later. Oh. This is a, a Nexus IQ Nexus. Get tuned, sorry. Get tuned, and you are, we'll do an unboxing this at some point. So that'll be a quick unboxing and see what this is like. Um, material is this. Yeah, is this like, what's it called? A bubble thing, plastic with air in it. Really good package, yeah. Good point. Okay. A cap called Scan. I don't think I'll wear that. Um, oh! Summer paste. Ooh, that's good. Ooh. Um, here's the prize. The Ryzen 9 59X. Yeah. The process I've been waiting for for a long time. But because of COVID, of course, and supply. Let's get rid of this box. Because of COVID. Oh, here's my other one. Because of COVID, I can get it. So now I've got it. So I won't show you how to install it because you can watch plenty of YouTube videos. What I'll do is I'll have to unbox it, install it on my computer, and we'll do some. I'll do some testing and I'll show some lovely graphs. But let's compare both of them. So this is a Rise and the Ryzen five. 3600. This has got six core three threads at 4.2 gigahertz up to 3.6 gigahertz. Um, so it's max, it's max, max boost is 4.2 and it's 3.6 is base. So yeah, good enough for me, but. I do streaming, as you're aware. If you'll see links below, of course. This is a Ryzen 9 500X, 12 cores, 24 press. So same number of cores, but double threads. This is 4.8, max speed 3.7. So what we'll do is we'll install this. I'll install this and I'll show you and I'll come back in a couple of days to show to, to show you what it's like. So I'll I'll 
I'll put some graphs up and I'll show you in a bit. Okay, you see the benchmarks now from Ryzen 5 to Ryzen 9. So yeah, the numbers are good. Well, obviously you're going from third gen to fifth gen. Now, I don't have videos of this. I do have pictures, so you'll see that now. Now you can see that the, the compound wasn't quite meeting, was, there was no compound between the processor and the, and the IO. So I did wonder why I had uh, some really high temperatures, not too high, but enough to be not concerned, but just on the borderline. So that would be the reason why. So. It was stable, so I didn't think much of it. It did was, it was over a year, so hey ho, it, these things happen. Now, which one should you buy? Before you buy this, research it, see if you need it, obviously, but also remember there's the Ryzen 5 and the Ryzen 3 comes with its own cooling fan, so bear that in mind in cost. But the Ryzen 7 and the Ryzen 9 does not come with the does not come with its own fan. So when you buy this with a new build, please be aware that you have to go and buy a fan or water cooling to your whole system or an AO which I do have, so bear that in mind before you buy it. So I did overclock it to 4.1 gigahertz. I might overclock it a bit more. Not too much, but I see how stable it is. I'll like go up in the stages and see if I can get, because if it's stable, I can overclock it more. So that's good. Gets me more, gets me more FPS. So the process is doing more work. So why did I buy a Ryzen 9 and I buy a Ryzen 7? I do streaming. I do video editing. I do gaming. I do general work. So this is why I bought this one. Now I saw the Ryzen 7. I looked at the benchmarks as you do. You go into YouTube and you look at the benchmark. And this one was the best price to ratio to the Ryzen 7. So why did I not buy the Ryzen 9 500 and something X. It was 200 pounds difference. That's a lot of money. That's way overkill. So yeah, the Ryzen 9 was a better value if you consider that. So I did order this from Scan. This is not a sponsor, of course. This, I bought this with my own money. I just wanted to try this website. It was the packaging you can tell, as you saw at the beginning of the video, was good. It was well packed. It had air bubbles, the plastic was in it, it was good. So it was well packed. It also gave me some free thermal paste, which was nice of them. Now, not, I've never noticed that. I have ordered from eBuyer. They never did that. You would have to buy your own thermal paste. And I've also ordered from Curry's. They didn't give me free thermal paste. Luckily, I do have some spare for that reason, but it was nice of them to give it to me. Well, I am. So now I did buy this before from Curry's. Now, I don't know why it wasn't working. It wasn't turning on. I don't know why. So, there's two things I, two things I may I, I f may or could be in the conflict. It could have been a bad unit, which is possible. It components do get bad from assembly line, so it does happen. So I'm not saying it it, it will happen. I've had I had a motherboard a couple of years ago. 
I had to take it back. And apparently they say every 101 could have a fault. It happens. You buy these products, you buy, you pay thousands of pounds for a product and it doesn't work. Luckily you got guaranteed and it work, and you can just say to the shop, it's broken and they will replace it. And there's nothing they can do about it. And it's, and it's not AMD's fault. I'm not saying his fault it is. It just, these things happen because they're built in mass. Another thing that could be the culprit, I didn't have my, I have a excess supplemental power connected to my motherboard. It could have been that. So I plugged that in and I don't have testing to think if it was otherwise. So that was connected and it's, when I, when I had this one, I thought, oh, when I was doing my cable management, I'll plug it in and since I'm doing cable management, I thought I'll plug that in. And so these, it was not, so these are the two copies I think it was. I can't pinpoint what it was, obviously, because I don't have that unit anymore because I had to return it. But so bear that in mind when you make sure you have supplement and make sure it works. But that's why you do benchmark to make sure it works. If you don't stress the things to its limit, and I mean limit, you won't never know if it's broken or not and you need to make sure it works. So if you're spending over 600 pounds, you need to make sure it works. It's going to last. This is a five year build. I won't be upgrading in the process of gain. Unless someone gives me a new one, of course. The next one up from this, which I no idea what, if that's going to happen. So Next upgrade will be the graphics card. I won't be doing that for another couple of years. My graphics card works fine. I have it runs all my games on high, so it's a still a good, still a good graphics card. It runs all my games. It works. Who else ordered this? But I want to get a better processor since I've upgraded it. But the next thing is graphics card, and I will buy one in a couple of years time. Not sure when. But when you see a new video of mine with graphics cards, you'll soon soon why. So yes. Which one should you buy? Only you can answer that question. Of course, I have links below and where you can buy all this stuff. Also a website for um, the scan where I bought it from, the website. Also, um, I'll have links for eBay and Curry's and Amazon, of course, but where you can buy these products. And these are the websites I recommend. I will recommend all these websites and I'm quite happy to state that on record. I have no issues with these companies. I've had very good, in my experience, your experience, your mileage may vary, of course, but in my experience, I've had no issues with customer service. Any returns? I haven't tried scan, but their customer service was really good. I, I would try to price match, but they didn't price match, which was, that's up to them. Batteries time. So, these websites are good. So please use them for compute, for your buying your computer component. And if you have others, please link them below and then I will check them out. There is other ones out there. But I recommend, I want a good customer service. I want a good return policy. And these websites give me them all because I've had no issues in return. I've never ordered, ordered from Scan, so I might buy something and try to return it for a laugh, for just to see if it, if it was good. So before my camera starts dying, because it's shouting, red, 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 please change me now. I'm going to wrap up this video. So. Thanks for this upgrade and thanks for the upgrade. Thanks for watching me upgrade my next line, next bit of my computer upgrade. And I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.